How is the offense looking differently, Aaron Jones, that you're willing to share with us? What do you got? Um, a lot. Uh, I, I would say uh, a lot of guys are stepping up and having to step up, and we we know that uh, with losing 17, Devonte Adams, um, we know it's going to be a collective whole uh, that has to make up for that. So it's not just going to be one person, and uh, you're seeing guys stepping up and uh, getting involved. Okay, and um, how is it going to be? Maybe a little bit more run centric. Are you hearing your number called a little bit more, Aaron Jones? What do you um, think? And- I would say it's about 50-50 in both ways uh, in running and, and the passing game. So um, I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to that, just getting the ball in space and um, doing what I do. So you're not going to tell us you're, you're not going to tell us the, how the offense is different is basically what you're saying, Aaron. You can be honest. You're just not going to tell us. I, I mean, we still, we still have this, pretty much the same offense. Okay, pretty much. It's just a different guy who's in there. And I know uh, – for for 17 as you mentioned uh i know aaron Rodgers talking uh about alan lazard yesterday said you know going from one hall of famer to another hall of famer is going to take an adjustment um how did how did you uh receive Devonte adams saying he's gone from one hall of fame quarterback to another how did you take that comment um i've Aaron only Jones? been with a rod and i mean I, know, I definitely know he's a future Hall of Famer. I don't, I don't know too much about Derek Carr's stats and stuff like that. I haven't worked with him, but um, I just, I, I seen him come back and t- he said, I'm not recanting on my statement, but <laughs> if you look at the numbers, I haven't looked at the numbers or anything, but um, it was a, a little surprising to see that, but um, you know, he, that's his quarterback, so he's got, he has to take up for his quarterback the same way I'm going to take up for my quarterback. Aaron Jones here on the Rich Eisen Show. Did A.J. Dillon destroy a mascot recently? Did he literally <laughs> take somebody and hospitalize a mascot? Did that happen? Did uh, I see he, that He problem? definitely did. Um, and you, I feel like you guys didn't see the best angle of it. A.J. has the best angle. The, the mascot did like a full flip, like 360 flip. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> After he ran him over. you. You guys only seen him get ran over. So, um, no, AJ definitely destroyed that mascot. <laughs> he squared him up um, like I a hope linebacker. They got a new one. He squared him up like a linebacker in the hole, man. He just absolutely took him out. You know, that was something else. <laughs> that was the funniest thing I had seen in a while. <laughs> so, uh, that's just, an, I, I know that we in the media sometimes take fun videos like that and say, well, this guy's ready to go. Um, even though it's just a mascot, but I, I, I you mean, your one-two punch that you can comp- provide at the running back position is as good as it gets in the NFL. I'm wondering how the two of you, uh, ha- you know, get along, hang out. What's your relationship, the two of you, like, Aaron Jones? Oh, uh, we have a we have a great relationship. Uh, AJ has been my little brother since he came in, and uh, he was here with me and Jamal, and I think he got to see the way that we bonded and connected. And uh, now it's me and him, and we're we're bonding and connecting the same way. Uh, we want to see each other both be successful, and we know like if he has success, it's just going to push me, and vice versa. And then we can communicate, hey, this is what we're seeing on the field, or uh, this is this is what blitz is coming, this is the rotation, things like that. And so uh, we're 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 really close, and uh, we're just continuing to work work with each other to help each other out on the field because you, we we both know that in this league. Uh, you need a running mate. It, it makes both of your jobs easier. Yeah, I mean, sure, and it, it can take mileage off of either one of you and keep you guys fresher, but how does it work? I mean, when you're on the field and you see 28 running in or he, he, he he's there and he sees 33 running in, um, how, how does that work? You know, obviously you uh, come out, I understand that, but you, I, I imagine there are times you'd like to stay in. Aaron Jones. Oh, def- you know? uh, definitely. As a competitor, you definitely have those moments where you would like to stay in. But uh, it's what can I do for the team to help us win? So, um, it, I mean, it, if we're getting in the end zone, it doesn't matter. If I'm getting in the end zone, if 12, whoever it is, as long as we're putting those points up on the board, I'm happy and we're winning. That's that's all that matters at the end of the day. It, uh, I mean, stats and accolades are nice, but at the end of the day, we have one main goal, and that's to win the Super Bowl. Aaron Jones here on the Rich Eisen Show from the Green Bay Packers. 